Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent and welcome back to my Red Dead series, keeping you up to date with all of the latest news and updates. So there's actually quite a few bonuses and incentives for logging in this week. I'll go over these first. First of all, you want to head over to the post office or your camp's lockbox and you can pick up a nice little cure package from Rockstar Games. You pick up five miracle tonics, five potent snake oils, five potent health cures, five potent bitters, and also 120 Express Revolver Ammo. There's also an extra bonus slapped onto the Land of Opportunities missions, so this week you're going to get an extra $50 for completing the first mission, and also $75 for completing Kill Them Each and Every One, and also a bonus of 10 gold bars for completing Destroyed by Grief mission. Now these bonuses are only going to be happening this week, so if you guys are new to Red Dead Online, Make sure you log in this week and complete those missions to uh, take advantage of those incentives. Next up we've got a new game mode added this week, it's called Head for the Hills. You can play this one if you go to the Featured Showdown mode and it will take you straight into a Head of the Hills online multiplayer match. Basically your team has to run across the map to the safe house on the other end and when all your teammates are in there at that safe zone you'll complete that round and then you'll, the teams will switch and your opponents will have a chance to make it to the safe house and you basically have to stop them from doing so. I played a couple of games of this and I feel like the strategy for this game mode is literally to just do a huge loop around the outside of the map where the enemies tend to always be in the centre and if you spread out and go around the edges, the far perimeter of the map, you can usually sneak by them and make it to the other side. And if you have this slippery B word ability card, it's going to come in very handy for not getting locked on when you're making a run for it. There was a new free roam event added this week, which is the Wild Animals Kills Challenge. Unfortunately, I don't have any gameplay to show you just because of how rare it is to get into free roam events. It's kind of annoying when Rockstar add these free roam events because you have to be so lucky to get an invite into them. You know, it's very rare to get an invite into one of, I think this is maybe the 10th free roam event, so you have like a one in, less than a 1 in 10th chance to actually get into this mode when you get an invite to one. Now I mention it, I still haven't been able to play the last free roam event that was added into Red Dead Online, which was the fishing challenge. If you manage to get into the Wild Animals Kills challenge, killing other players will be disabled, so the only focus of this event will be hunting wild animals. Points will be awarded on the size of the animal, with small animals being worth one point, medium-sized animals worth two points, and large animals are worth three points. As the challenge unfolds, prized and especially dangerous predators like wolves, cougars and bears will emerge, so you can take those ones down for bonus points. So this free roam event definitely sounds like a lot of fun, and I'm quite excited to be able to get to play this one myself. And last but not least, we have six new clothing items and one new emote. First up is the Flora Corseted Chemis. I have no idea if I pronounced that one right, guys. But you can pick it up for $42 and only if you are a female character. Next up is the Padden Shirt. Quite a nice looking lace up, um, I guess smarter looking shirt that's available for $48.50 or two gold bars. The Plaid Cap, which is available for $59 and 25 cents. It's quite a smart looking bonnet that you can wear as a hat and it comes in quite a few different patterns that you can get. So very fashionable headwear here. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you've ever wanted to have a raccoon on your head, you can buy the raccoon hat for $151. There's a few different shades it comes in, in varying uh, colours of raccoon, I guess. I thought this one looked so ridiculous I couldn't resist buying it myself. You guys know I like my ridiculous looking hats in Red Dead Online. And the last clothing item that was added was the Schaefer Chaps, available for $59.50. These are a very kind of woolly pair of trousers if you want to be very fashionable in Red Dead Online and come in a variety of different colours. The new emote that was added this week is under the Emotional Reactions section and it's called How Dare You. Basically this emote is where you throw up your hand and gesture someone to basically go away. And it has a huge price tag on it of $190. And $190 can go quite a long way in Red Dead Online, so it's pretty expensive for an emote. So I'd probably recommend you guys save your money rather than blowing it on this. And the last thing I want to mention with this update is another bonus for two-step verification. So if you don't already have two-step verification on your Rockstar Social Club account, I definitely recommend setting it up 
because you'll actually be rewarded 10 gold bars in Red Dead Online and also half a million dollars in GTA Online if any of you guys still play GTA. Rockstar also mentioned they're offering a exclusive and unique tint to the raccoon hat this week for anyone that enables two-step verification. I don't believe I've received my hint of the raccoon hat yet, even though I have two-step verification active, so I'm not sure if this is maybe a new bonus for setting up, or maybe if we will be rewarded it in a few days. If you are interested in adding two-step verification to your account and getting these bonuses, I'll have a link in the description of this video where you can click through and find out more about two-step verification. It basically just means every time you log into Rockstar Social Club, you have to verify it on your mobile device, so it makes your account a bit more secure. And that doesn't mean you have to do two-step verification every time you play Red Dead Online or GT Online. You can play your account as normal without verifying it. It's only when you're logging in online, specifically into your Rockstar Social Club account, that you will need to use the verification. So personally, I don't log in all that much to my social account, so it doesn't even bother me that much having it set up. But yeah, that's all the new content that was added with this week's Red Dead Online update. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a few seconds to leave it a like, it really helps support the news series. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future breaking news. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.